Welcome to the lo the losers bracket of BSL 12 Hasu League Very Manor from Nilsi Hasu League Group C, the All Protoss grouping. Kind of like that it's an All Protoss group early rather than later, because in the round of eight we know at least two Protoss are making it through to the round of eight from this group, right? But at least you know two two Protoss are not going to make it, right? So it'll be less PVP in theory moving forward. And also in theory coming out of these these brackets will end up on opposite sides. This is blindside. Nilsi we have starting at the 12 o'clock location is the red Protoss. 6 o'clock location we have Crane starting as the blue Protoss. If I have to do PVP, these are the players I want to do PVP of though. Right? Because it's fun entertaining matches. These are the skill. We had the rematch of the finals. You could see that... <laughs> Last match, streamer very frustrated with, with uh, the map selection. It's kind of commenting on that as like, nice map, feels like uh, something, it's kind of like, I mean, it's not totally bad mannered, I get the frustration, but whatever. Pylon in the main from both players. Nilsi might be the one who can capitalize on blindside. We've seen a lot of creativity out of Nilsi thus far. And this is a map where Seems like there's a lot of options to be creative, right? There's a lot of lanes to sneak through. There's a lot of locations to do proxy tech. There's a lot of things that you can sneak out. However, I'm almost wondering how much of the, I don't know, Dark Templar creative style of play is blunted by the fact that there's a, there's a bit of a lack of defender's advantage between the natural and the main. We do see a two gate opener for Nilsi. First player I'm seeing doing that on this map. And going up against the gate assimilator. So this is going to go into my brain of how effective can this build be. Because Crane's going to see it heads up. Crane is a skilled Protoss player. And I believe will be capable of, well, knows what to do to defend against this. So I think this is going to be one of those good use cases as to, okay, is two gate good on this map or not? Again, that pylon on that back line. Doing a little bit of harassment, sees the two gate, see what the response is. There is an initial result, cybernetic score is warping in. And Nilsi gonna move across with that probe scout, gonna see exactly what he's up against. Initial zealot chasing down that probe. Once the three zealots are out, we'll probably see them cross the field. First zealot for Crane, gonna go ahead and chase that down little bit of delay on this first Dragoon. And actually that one second, that half second can even be a big difference. Nilsi following this up with an Assimilator. So perhaps only dedicating the initial three Zealots to the stack, now grouping them up. And then going to follow that up with a Cybernetic Core Dragoon pressure from there. And we see Nilsi being very sneaky with this probe, has moved it up to the 9 o'clock base. And are we going to see a pylon? There's the pylon. Nilsi doing Nilsi things. So opening up at least two gate initially. Is Crane going to go... Here's the thing. Is Crane going to go Robo off this? Or are we going to see two gate opener? Currently just sticking on the one gate defense. This is only one Dragoon. Versus these three Zealots. Probes chasing probes. Back here it's the battle probe. Crane doing the wise thing and little, having a little bit of trouble with this map, you can see. Now engaging. Second Dragoon is there. It's going to be pinned out, but this is actually a nice engagement situation where Crane can kind of micro with the Zealots in between and get a lot of damage done. That first Zealot easily being taken out. Nice little bit of micro from Crane backing that damage zealot out. Two zealots do get in. They get scouting information. They're going to see that it is still just one gate, one gate robo. Which might hurt this action right there. Third gateway being plopped down with a Citadel of a Dune. Perhaps Dark Templar. That's not to say that Dark Templar are completely ineffective. In this map. But... At the very least, the initial three Zealots were taken out without much trouble. Also replying to Twitch chat. This is off replay. Hasu League Season... BSL Season 12 Hasu League. Fortunately, I don't have an opportunity to cast live often. Three gateways, Robo, and unfortunately, this might be the perfect build 
to counter what Nilsi's up to. Nilsi sitting at four gate now, so basically all in. Templar Archives warping in now. Unfortunately for Crane, it looks like he's setting up to go ahead and take a Nexus. Does have the Observatory. Is moving a lot of these Dragoons forward. That's going to allow some of these Dark Templar to sneak underneath. And uh, Oh, this is going to be naked. So this is a... So it's going to be up to these two Dragoons and perhaps a follow-up Observer to deal with the Dark Templar in the base. However, this is what I was talking about with defenders, a lack of defender's advantage and earlier cheese. These five Dragoons very likely have an opportunity to press into this base. No Nexus there yet. We do see the initial Observer being built. First Dark Templar is making its way across. The Dragoons pressing through, able to take out the one Dragoon there. The Dark Templar is going to be able to, at the very least, block Crane out of the main. But the rest of the Dragoons have been taken out. Dark Templar sneaking into the main. The Observer is trailing it. Crane sees it, pulling off probes. Still is going to end up losing two probes at the very least. The rest of the probes trying to actually group attack this Dark Templar. Some nice interruption, but still six kills, seven kills. Wow. So despite having the tech out, Nilsi's still able to get a huge lead in probe counts. DT blocking the way. Two DTs blocking the way. The Observer not quite there yet. And also, the Dark Templar coming out of that 9 o'clock location are going to pin Crane back. Crane's still going to opt to take that Nexus. He's not out of this match yet. He's going to have to retreat with these Dragoons. Second Observer regrouping. Nilsi still might be in a spot of trouble, though. Plopping down an additional gateway. He's basically all in on gateway units at this stage. The Dragoons Regrouping, moving back around. These two Dark Templar are not going to be a sufficient defense. Another Dark Templar sneaking in. However, going to be sent packing based on that Observer and that Dragoon at the Natural. You'll see in a lot of trouble right now. One Zealot out. Three Gateways trying to produce whatever they can. But the Dragoon's going to move up and try to even up the probe count. Four Dragoons sitting on top of that Nexus. And honestly, Zealots are just going to get eaten alive here. Two Zealots making their way across, so it's going to be melee. They are, they, one advantage for Nilsi here is he might be able to back this up. It looks like two Zealots forcing their way in against the Dragoons at the main. They're getting cleaned up pretty rapidly. Dark Templar do so much damage. Them plus the Zealots plus the blockade able to get on top of these Dragoons. The Dragoon's now sitting back on that pylon line, and this is where having that pylon to the corner might have been a disadvantage, but the probe's doing some excellent disruption, able to clean up the rest of that attack. Still one Dragoon standing, finally taken out, but the overall probe count has been equalized, 21 to 21, and Crane has a natural expansion, meaning he's going to be able to double up probe production. Has the observers overhead to deal with any sort of Dark Templar follow-up. And at the 9 o'clock spot, so basically what Nilsi needs to do is to just produce a lot of zealots. A lot of everything. And he's all in. This is 5 gateway production. You are all in, my friend. Following this up with any sort of expansion isn't going to, isn't going to cut it. I think Crane realizing this is sealing himself, is creating a nice wall to seal himself in. Brilliant play. Still needs to get more gateways down, though, because he's got two gates versus five. He has crippled a degree of Nilsi's production, but this is all sorts of zealots. This is an overwhelming zealot count moving its way down. I don't know this blockade is going to be enough. This is three gateways worth of production. The zealots pulling back. Nilsi, I think, still just needs to go for it. I think he just needs to hammer on either the gateway or the pylon, and honestly, I would opt for the gateway. Nilsi moving up with a support reaver. Reaver's Chew Zealots alive. Nilsi in a lot of trouble. Now setting up to go ahead and take a natural expansion. But honestly, this feels so late. So late. Crane now with a death grip on this first match. Observer sneaking out, making sure that there weren't any sneaky expansions taken. Getting his own Citadel of Adun up. 
And honestly, I think Nilsi should still just cancel this Nexus, continue to build Dragoon, something along those lines, and still just go for it. Has an Archon out. Interesting choice. Shuttle speed being developed by Crane. Because he wants to follow this up with an aggressive attack. Has his own second assimilator up. So he's going to be able to produce those beefier tech units. As a follow-up. This observer is going to wander up and see that natural expansion. I think once he sees this natural expansion, he's going to know that... Yeah, he just needs to be patient, build his army, and press from there. Second Archon being produced. Not waiting for Psystorm. Potentially this Archon could absorb a lot of damage, but I don't know. I feel like this is enough just beef. Enough Protoss. Guess what's the equivalent of beef in energy? I mean, technically an Archon is just beef, right? In energy form. But essentially, Nilsi needs to just go for a bust to win. I don't think this having the second Nexus is going to help him. Shuttle wandering out. There's not a lot of anti-air on the ground. Just these two Dragoons and the two Archons. And that Reaver, with speed, is taking pot shots at these Zealots to soften them up. Like that play. Archon trying to make its way across. Shuttle speed's going to kick in momentarily. And that's driving these troops back home. Like this play from Crane. Ooh, needs to be careful. Archon is catching up. Now shuttle speed kicking in. These are speed zealots. But yeah, so much of this army eating any sort of reaver shot. Dangerous. And no defense. Just in case Nilsi was uh, thinking about getting back into this game economically. Ooh, lucky. Dud there. Two Dragoons to engage. I don't think that's going to be enough to take care of the shuttle. Sending the probe scattering at the main as well. So just on top of everything else, if there wasn't enough damage done economically otherwise. Crane preventing Nilsi from getting anything accomplished. He's up 44 probes to 30. Has a significant Dragoon army. Found the 9 o'clock. Needs to be careful though. Looks like he lost that shuttle. Might lose this Reaver. This is a lot of tech pushing up. This is triggering Nilsi to move forward. While this army presses out of position, is he going to leave his front door vulnerable? Or is Nilsi going to try to engage to try to save a lot of this? He needs to save some of this tech. Unfortunately, he's coming in, it looks like... Fortunately for him, he's coming in with the Zealots where they can engage the Dragoons away from the Reaver. But I don't think it's going to be in time to save any of this. Yeah, those Dragoons dying very rapidly. Look at these Reaver shots, just... Though the, the Scarab's having trouble sneaking around and getting some damage done. Archon's moving in very, very late. <clears throat> Another shuttle with two additional Reavers moving up. Archon's trying to do what they can. Actually, Archon able to take out a Reaver. But the rest of this tech going to be cleaned up. It is unpowered. And Nilsi having to expend a lot of his army to do so. Still might be able to get that shuttle and two Reavers. So big bonus right there. Crane needs to be careful that his front door doesn't end up getting breached by what's left. Looks like he has <laughs> Battle Probe and three Zealots sneaking behind this. Nilsi with his Archon driving towards that natural expansion, but Crane dropping all sorts of gateways behind this to keep his production up. Still sitting at a big economic advantage. Nilsi finding a way to stay in this match. Or perhaps Crane just not engaging where he should. Still way ahead, though. Almost a 30 supply lead. Still has plenty of troops. It looks like Nilsi floating a lot of minerals right here as well. Sneaking up to maybe take that third base. An observer left there just in case there was a pylon warped in. Looks like Crane going to maneuver to that direction to go ahead and clear that out. And now Crane going to follow this up with all sorts of gateways before additional Nexus. I think he just wants to end it here. Does have a few idle probes at his main. Weapons 1 about halfway finished for Nilsi. He is warping in a lot of additional gateways. So both players going just heavy ground. So 8 gateways. That direction. A probe sneaking around. Maybe to take a ninja expansion or check for ninja expansions. I think it's just there to check. So we technically nine gateways with this on the front. Crane going to go ahead and take 
I take it back. He's going to go ahead and take his third. Surprised he went for the, the gateways before Nexus. Nilsi has a small advantage in the level 1 weapons, but still way behind in the overall probe count. 20 supply behind otherwise. He's honestly lucky to not be dead yet. And right now, Nilsi's still been sitting mostly on Zealot production. Looks like another Zealot finally clearing out everything that the 9 o'clock. He wants to try to take this 3 base, maybe even try to sneak 2 Nexus to get back in this match. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Crane starting to move out to the map, plopping down 2 cannons to provide some supplementary defense, which suggests he wants to be more aggressive with this army just in case something slips by. Observer seeing the bulk of Nilsi's army there. A Zealot going to wander up to go ahead and deny that 3 o'clock base. Nilsi has High Templar out, but he does not have Storm yet researched. And while that's happening, Crane is moving in with that army. It looks like that army getting pinned back. I think Crane sees it. Even in a pincer attack situation, Crane has the better army composition. Just going to rail into this attack force. Beautiful size storm. Does catch his own observer. But I don't think there's any Dark Templar in the field. Instead, actually, Crane at this stage fielding his own Dark Templar. Some nice storms otherwise. Storms on top of Zealots. Look like the Zealots swinging around. Archon morphing in. Nice back engagement there by Nilsi, but he just does not have the raw unit count. To make it happen. Psy Storm against the Psy Stormers. How do you like it, guys? And Nilsi's army just getting obliterated. Good Death Storm right there, right as it was coming online. Nilsi calling GG because he's at half the supply. So, some nice creativity in Game 1 for Nilsi. However, not enough to win the match. Game 1 goes to Crane. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to Game 2.